In the far reaches of space, a small spaceship gets lost. In it, Cortana talks to Master Chief about what it is like for them to exist, how they came to be and what was expected from them. War and winning were everything they knew for a long time, since the beginning of humanity's existence war was a common tradition for them. The first humans advanced so much but their progress was stopped by a new enemy, the Flood, an alien species that declared war on humanity. The Flood was unique, it could absorb everything it consumed and use its knowledge and abilities against its enemies, for that it was unstoppable. Forerunners, an ancient species that served to be defenders of life, tried to stop them with their advanced tech, but they failed and with their failure, the Flood absorbed all of their knowledge and strengths. Knowing their doom was inevitable they planned to destroy everything, all the life in the universe, in order for the Flood to run out of food and finally be destroyed. They built a secret weapon with unmatched power called Halo, and then they scattered through the galaxy, which would destroy the Flood but also every living creature in the galaxy. They succeed in destroying every living thing, but not without a backup plan. They had taken samples of all the populations in the galaxy and stored them in the Halo in order to repopulate and restore the galaxy. But the Forerunners sacrificed their existence in order to save a life in the galaxy. For a while, the galaxy was at peace, but the nature of every living thing was war and so it began again. While in the primitive state, humanity was keen on war and self-destruction they then, in a glimpse of hope, joined forces and looked to conquer new planets to make up for the ones they had destroyed. Their home, but now they made the entire galaxy their home. But even then humankind could fight against their instincts and conflicts still prevailed. Just one thing could make humans not fight man to man, and that was a common enemy, that enemy was the Covenant, an alien species that declared war on humans and sought to conquer each planet we hold dear. For a long time, each race stood strong against the other, as their military power was matched. But then the ancient evil, the Flood re-emerged, and the humans and the Covenant had to join forces to destroy it for good. In another story of the legends that surround Halo, we find ourselves in a river with members of the Covenant navigating. One of them warns the other that the path he follows is most likely going to be a trap. The other one doesn't even acknowledge him and just continues on his path to revenge against the Covenant. Through the jungles he stumbles upon a squad of beings just like him, all of them staring right at him with rage. They light up their blades and start fighting, charging at each other without a second thought. Arbiter then remembers his trial with the leaders of the Covenant. He was being doubted as he did not prove to believe in the Covenant, and his faith in the war had evaporated after all the losses he had encountered in the past. Now in the small town far from the forests and jungles, he remembers his last words to the council. He no longer believed in the old traditions of the Covenant and so he left. Now in his home with his wife, he remembers his training as an elite of the Covenant. With the technology they found on the Forerunners, they developed all kinds of blades and special tech that gave them the edge in the war. Arbiter then explains his reasons, he wants his tribe to gain honor once more. With all of the horrors of war, they have left their ways behind and the Covenant's principles are not in his interest. His disciples fear that he might lose his rank, but he doesn't, he only cares about restoring his honor. He turned against the Covenant so they sent a whole fleet of his students and most noble warriors against him. But they were no match to his technique and he easily defeated them. But the Covenant used this as a distraction, while the fight was going on the leader of the Covenant sent his right-hand man to take Arbiter's wife. After the fight was over and he was victorious, he returned to his home only to find his wife passed away and his best friend slayed. He kneels to catch his wife's body, just to see her one last time. Now he wants revenge and the first person on his list is the assassin that the leader sent. They meet up at the top of the temple they used to train in, and they seize each other for a while. Searching for signs of weakness, a chance to strike without the other knowing. And with a single blow, the assassin ends up slaying Arbiter's chest, and a huge flow of blood pops up. But Arbiter actually managed to make even more damage, nailing the assassins right in the stomach, and before he could even notice it he fell to the ground. While falling to the ground he remembered his wife's face, her smile, and her last words. In another story of the Halo Legend storyline, we find ourselves now in the far reaches of space, understanding how humankind conquered space. They used the Halos for most of their structures until they encountered the Covenant. This war against the Covenant annihilated most of the human colonies in outer space, since normal military forces are rarely used in defense of outer space, the human race developed a new kind of soldier. The Spartans were developed for combat in the far reaches of the galaxy. In one of the colony's normal soldiers are ambushed and trapped by the Covenant, while they manage to take down some of the field forces of the Covenant, their flying enemies slowly take them down one by one. When everything looks to be lost and Spartan appears and starts blasting all of the aliens away with ease. The soldiers are shocked, they have been fighting these aliens for so long and they have never seen them go down so easily. 
Now together the soldier and the Spartan take out the remaining Covenant soldiers and regroup. The Spartan takes out her helmet, showing her blonde long hair, and informs the officer that the planet is being under heavy attack and they could practically leave it for destruction. She contacts air backup in order to get out of the planet, on the phone she recognizes the voice of the one speaking. The two of them were part of an experiment to improve the Spartans. While the two of them attempted to escape those facilities only she managed to leave. On the front of war, she and the rest of the soldiers are ambushed once again. They defeat some aliens but they are just too many and they are falling one by one. She keeps confusing her memories and the present. Over and over again she remembers her past as a refugee, she tried to get back to her old house, before she was taken for the Spartan project. The team managed to get a vehicle and with her help, they destroyed the defenses of a nearby base where they were to be extracted. As they head to a bridge they spot the spaceship that will help them escape, but a Covenant soldier throws a grenade at the bridge. As it's about to blow up she remembers the day she went back home, only to find a clone of herself living her life and the doctor that led the experiments on her explaining that she no longer belongs there and that she should continue her training. Her last response is to try to shoot the clone. Now in the ground in the present day, the bridge collapsed and nearly all of the squad was gone. Luckily the Sarge that accompanied her through the fight is still alive. The two of them run as fast as they can to the chopper and she remembers when she ran to the girl that was herself, a clone that stole her life. She gets shot in the present and all she can think of is those last seconds where she meets herself. The girl smiled and told her about her dreams. She wanted to be strong and so she became that in her dreams, just like the woman that she saw. They envy each other in ways the other would not understand. After everything, the chopper takes too much damage and it's blown up. She is now alone on the ground and all she can think about is her comrades that also confronted their clones. Most of them eliminated them, she was the only one that understood. Now in another story of the legends, we encounter Spartan 1337, a Spartan who is not so good at his job. He meets up with some kids that laugh at him for falling from his chopper and then he gets eaten by a huge T-Rex. In the meantime, a huge asteroid falls from space and they find out that it's a special soldier sent by the Covenant to destroy any Spartans on the planet. 1337 puts up a good fight but the creature is too strong and knocks him down. Luckily the brother and sister of the kid he met earlier were there to save him and they let him rest in their cave for a while. The three of them tried to fight the creature but it was way beyond their level of power, luckily MoMA and IA that lived inside an old ship helped them in the fight, sending the creature into outer space with a single laser beam. On another story, we hear of the soldiers that are defending escaped shuttles from an attack of the Covenant. Most forces were eliminated and they don't have any backup so the Sarge ordered the last soldier to back down. But he doesn't want to listen as the shuttles with people in theme need somebody protecting them. Most forces are now defending the last a prototype of weapon, all of them lost their vehicle so extracting would be hard. As they are about to be whipped out their squad leader appears in the prototype, it's new and improved Spartan armor capable of destroying armies all by himself. The prototype must be destroyed in order to not fall into the enemy's hands, but the Sarge wants to use it to protect his man as he feels remorse for losing his previous squad back in the day. He fights off with a bunch of elites and defeats even carriers but they are just way too many. With a huge explosion, he loses his arm and remembers the last words of one of his soldiers be human. With these last words, the safety protocol of the suit activates and the prototype is blown up. Luckily his man still managed to get out of the planet and his commanding officer remembers him with great honor. One of our last legends shows us a squad having dinner at a space cruise. The squad is the best of the best among the soldiers but they are no match for a Spartan, they just got assigned a mission to babysit one. They need to protect him in order for him to collect data about a mysterious force known only as the Prophet. The team manages to land safely and they move around the forest to find a clear shoot at the target. They stumble upon an abandoned city but the Spartans find out that it's not so abandoned. They encounter heavy reinforcement from the enemy, luckily the training of the Spartans gives them an edge in the situation. They get to the position where they can shoot the target, and the Spartan gets in position to take the shot but in a second one guard notices them and breaks the Spartan's helmet. Apparently, the woman in the Spartan suit is greatly wounded and orders them to take the shot. The youngest of the squad takes the rifle and just as the target is about to leave shoots him right in the neck. With their mission completed the Spartan leaves the data from it to the squad since she can no longer deliver it. And before she could say anything else, she passed away. Back at the dining table that they always used, the squad remembers the great sacrifice of the Spartan. On our last legend, we see a spaceship in stealth mode, ready for a special assignment. A full squad of Spartans must deliver a package in the middle of space infested with Covenant ships. They elude most of their firepower with the help of their agile motorbikes. One of them entered an enemy's ship to find what they were looking for, only to discover that it was all an ambush planted by the Covenant. 
Once three of the Spartans enter the ship the Covenant blows up a bomb in it and the entire ship is destroyed. With three of them down the squad doesn't think they can achieve what they need to do, destroy all of the fleets. Now that they know that there are decoys among the fleets they manage to track down the real shipment. They managed to get to the ship but only the Sarge was able to reach the cargo. It was a doctor that was captured by the enemy, holding crucial information about the development of Spartans. They manage to escape and as he is confronted by the mayor of the Covenant the ship combines with self-destruction. The Covenant flees but not before chasing the doctor and the last Spartan down. Their fighters followed them and almost destroyed their space shuttle but luckily another Spartan came to the rescue and together made it to the stealth ship of the humans.